How are you doing? Pretty good, huh? <laughs> this food's like. You know that show ridiculousness? Oh, it just Dude, messed I fucking that. watched this shit yesterday. Check out this fucking video. I haven't seen it. Dude, this shit's fucking mad. It, it looks like the battlefield light. <laughs> it's a powerful LED. Oh, they can't see shit now. I know, dude, you're blinded. The cops aren't buying this who takes the beer bottle. <laughs> Molotov. <laughs> hey, go over there and interview that guy. Tell him, like, what the fuck happened? Like, hey man, I was making this video for everyone. Hey, what happened? What happened right now? What they the uh, just checked up? if it was loaded and it uh, wasn't loaded. And it was uh, California, California law, dude. You can uh, carry an open uh, gun. Uh, no, it just so, can't be loaded. Uh, just so like what the were they Black doing? Did. They uh, just, just checked check if, you know, if they're loaded and that's it. Were and they being aggressive with you guys at all? No, no, no they were really cool because Fontana knows their shit. Okay. You go to Ontario, Riverside Open, you're fucked. <laughs> Why is that? Cops over there are pricks, man. Really? They're just very dude, they checked us last week right in and out by the Ontario airport. I was had this AR on me. <laughs> we were in a group. They wouldn't approach us as a group. So I said, hey, go stand on the corner by yourself yeah, yeah. and see what happens. Less than five minutes go by. Uh -huh. I mean, four cops were his ass. Really? And I come up and I had the AR on and they uh -huh. went to check the AR. Dude was like that Fontana cop. Didn't know how to check it. Really? Fuck, dude, we this shoot more than the cops. standard issue military since uh -huh. the 19th. 64. And they yeah. don't know how to check it. That's why he was standing going, oh, how do I check this? Like, yeah, this like, did you have to tell him how to check it? Yeah. <laughs> That's a so, fucking smart guy. Yeah, yeah. so, so it's just you know like what? on our YouTube page, H-A-C-O-P-I-A-N-5900, and you'll see a bunch of, of my videos with Ontario, uh -huh. and Ontario Police Department takes things personal. Oh, okay. Yeah. Really? Very personal, and they have their, uh, their online cop forums, and they have my video on there. Oh, okay. You know, so, and then they see my face, and they know oh. my name, and then they take it personal. And you notice so they didn't even ask for ID? Yeah, because they know what the law is. And, and then he asked me if, if it had any weapons or yeah. magazines. Oh, and then the cop asked you, does this, does this gun belong to you? Is it registered to you? And the cop, the other cop taps on the showboat to 12031 E check. That's yeah. it. Yeah, you know, that's it. 12031 well, E, the only thing they do is check to make sure your weapon is empty. They can't ask you for ID. Oh, really? They can't run the numbers because on the there was no they can't even okay. search for probable cause. Uh -huh. The Fourth Amendment. And how often does cops approach you? You guys, in your op open. Uh, for me, once a week or twice a week. Oh, okay. What they are? Yeah, with a pistol. I've had like trouble like with. Dude, Sarah. since since Brown signed that AB144, I've been wearing this every day. Mm -hmm. Every day. It's some protest and self defense. This one, I don't have ammo for. Uh -huh. You know, but, but as of the first, you'll be carrying it, and it won't okay. be on his back. It'll be on the front, Swung ready to go. Front. Oh, okay, aim down. Yeah. Hey, you think that this is small? This is intimidating? Uh -huh. <laughs> I know that. But the governor says that this is okay, but yeah. this isn't, you know? Uh, all right, that's fine. If the Black Panthers can do it, yeah, yeah. and it's not a crime, uh -huh. but I, but if I do it... I'm that was in it. the 60s, fool. Yeah, but still, it's still civil rights. They took, they took, okay, 1967, Ronald Reagan signed the Mulford Act. There's a bunch of Black Panthers armed with loaded guns marched on the Capitol. Mm -hmm. Oh! Black people with the guns, oh shit, oh that's the real sign the Mulford Act. <laughs> And they take away open loaded carry. Oh, okay. But for a concealed carry, that's illegal unless you have a permit, mm -hmm. which is very expensive and or impossible. See, that's how Democrats work. Mm -hmm. They try and instill fear in you by putting laws on you that are unconstitutional. The Second Amendment protects us to bear arms. Yeah, yeah. Next thing you know, they're going to ban long guns. Mm -hmm. Once they ban these and then they ban long guns, then NRA will get off their ass. Oh, you're violating.
right and everybody's right. Yeah. Gun laws start in California, just like smog laws. And look at all the countries that enforce gun laws. Remember the Germans? Yeah. When they first enforced <laughs> gun laws, what happened? They executed and exterminated a bunch of Jews. Uh -huh. Look what happened when they did gun control in China. How many people were murdered? California gun control, once that happens? No, but it's never going to happen. You know? you know, it's not. It's how strict not. are California gun laws, though? The strictest in the nation. Oh, the strictest, strictest in, in the world. What do you think? To, well, to test a handgun in the state mm -hmm. for sale costs twenty thousand dollars. Why is that? Why are they so bolted down on California gun? It's money and it's control. You know, for civil rights, for freedom of freaking speech, yeah. you have to get a permit. Okay. All right, check this out. Add this up. Mm -hmm. You notice crime's down. Mm -hmm. Okay. Why? People carry guns. Yeah, yeah. But once you take guns away, what's going to happen? Only the bad guys. Only the bad guys and the cops are going to have guns, like Mexico. Yeah. Look what's going on down there. <laughs> because it takes a good guy with a gun uh -huh. to stop a bad guy with a gun. So, the only people that pushed AB 144 was Cheeseburger Tony out of Flocking out of Flint Ridge. His mm -hmm. name is Tony Porten Portantino. Mm -hmm. Anthony Portantino. He's an assemblyman out of Flocking mm -hmm. They ban open carry of these, right? Mm -hmm. They take guns away from us. More criminals are going to come out. Do yeah. their thing, right? Now check this out. More crime on the street, uh -huh. more justification for money for more cops. Oh, okay. But you arm the citizens, crime rate's gonna go down. Yeah, yeah, less, money people can... less money to spend for cops. Yeah, yeah. Look at Arizona, look at Nevada. Yeah, yeah. Good example. And they can't say that, oh, you know, they're border states. Hey, Arizona's a border state too. Yeah. In Arizona, you can carry a loaded gun, mm -hmm. concealed or not concealed, mm -hmm. without a permit. And crime has gone down. Down 60 percent since that started. And check this out. What about number six? You see this? Mm -hmm. You can't. You can't legally conceal a long gun. Tell me how that works. So if you have a long gun, I mean a T-shirt or a jacket, it's not a concealable firearm really? through California law. I call it numbers. So the laws are messed up. Thanks for letting me talk to you, man. All right, man. Take have care. a good Thanks. one.